Alright guys, this is Julia, and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to change the system font in Windows 10. I know some of you guys already know this, but there's some that's been asking me how to do it, so I thought I'd just make a video to show you guys, because, you know, it's really cool. So, I used a program to do this, um, called WinArrow Tweaker. You can actually tweak a bunch of other settings. I'm going to show you how to download it, because it can be a little tricky. So, I'm just going to show you that real quick. You search WinArrow Tweaker, and it popped up. So you're going to go there, which I searched on Google, and then you, I'm just going to go to the downloads. I'm going to go to the second link, it's easier. And then you scroll down and see there's this little download one error tweaker button, and it'll start downloading the zip file. And, and then we're going to go to downloads, and you'll see this is the one I downloaded. So you're going to right click it, you're going to extract it. Now I'm going to install it since there's an older version of WinArrow installed. So we're going to double click it, we're going to click yes to the prompt, and you're just going to go through the prompts next, next, I agree, next, 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 install. So then, I'm, I'm not going to visit the site, I'm just going to run it. And then you're going to click yes because it needs admin. And then you're going to have WinArrow Tweaker popping up and it's going to pop up like your specs and all that stuff. So pretty much, you have one arrow, but I'm going to install a custom font that I have in the documents folder here. So I have fonts, I'm trying to figure out which one it is, yeah, short stack, this is the font I use on my main computer, you can see all the fonts on my computer is short stack. So we're going to install it, oh it's already installed in this VM, so I don't need to do it, never mind. Okay, um, anyways, let's just go back. I, th I forgot that I had it already installed and that the font just wasn't set in the system. So now you're going to go to icons here and I'm going to change the font. We're going to click short stack bold. I'm going to do bold for my font, but you can do any font you want and then you can change the size. I'm going to do it as I always do short stack bold 11. And remember, you can't click the next one. you got to click apply and just ignore that message and keep going. Go to menus now you're going to change the font, select your font and how you want it to be, and pretty much you're going to repeat this process for the ones I'm doing right now, which we're going to do it for icons, menus, message, font, um, then you're going to do it for the status bar font, search stack, bold, 11, um, that's the settings I'm using. And you got to change the system font or it won't change system wise. Now there may be some parts in Windows 10 where the font is not changed. That's just because it's kind of hard to change every little thing. And then we're going to change the window title bars. So we're going to go to the fonts and we're going to apply and so let's make sure we got it all. We got that and that, that, okay, we got that, and we got all, okay, so we got them all. You're going to do it for these three, and then you're going to do it for these, and then you're going to do it for this. So this one, this one, this one, and then this one, this one, this one. So that's like seven things there that you have to change it for. Yeah. Yeah, that's like seven things. Um, actually, I think it's six things, actually, because you're changing the icons, the menus, the, that. You're changing this, this. Nah, okay, so pretty much that shows how to change the font. Now, if you want to change some other settings in WinArrow, you can change all kinds of stuff. You can even go down here, and I can disable telemetry in Windows 10. I can go and disable Cortana in Windows 10. And it will require a reboot for the font. It only requires you to sign out and sign back in. But because I made some changes here, which some other cool things I like to do here is let's see you can show the windows version on the desktop so it kind of makes it look like windows insiders but it's not you can sign out here but i'm going to reboot since i did some settings that requires a reboot but you won't have to reboot unless you changed another setting that requires one like you guys can just do a simple sign out and sign back in and you should get your font so let's just wait for it to sign in here Okay, and there we go. You can see we have our font set, which looks pretty cool. The font isn't set in the start menu. I'm not sure why, but I guess you can't set it there. Um, it has the Windows build down here. 
which is cool. So this is the latest build. If you add that and it's not 15063 and it's lower, then yeah, you're not up to date. But um, anyways, you could be watching this in the future and they could have a newer, uh, probably have a newer one by then. Um, but anyways, that's how you set the font. Um, you may experience this glitch with the time where there's a box instead of a colon. Um, that's just a glitch in the Windows 10 right now. However, it's probably going to be fixed in a future update. So, it, it's happened to most systems. I mean, not every system's going to get that box, but um, most systems that are all the way up to date are going to have this issue. But they are going to fix it most likely because obviously it's a glitch. I would report it to Microsoft also because the more people that report the glitch, you know, the more people that will, well, the more chance that they're going to actually see it and fix it. So anyways, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, you could still see the time. It, it just looks funny, but that's the only glitch I've noticed with changing the font. So I'll, I'll put um, a link to Winero Tweaker's download in the description. So all you have to do is click on that download Winero Tweaker and it should download it. And then you can install it and change the font settings. You can also use a default font. You may not have this glitch if you use a font built into Windows. I'm not entirely sure of that though. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments, but I think it might just be custom fonts. I'm not entirely sure though. But anyways, I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. And if you have any more video ideas of what other tutorials and things you would like to see, please leave comments so I can start making some more videos. I'm probably going to be making videos less because I am currently on vacation right now. So don't expect to see a video every single day because that's just not going to happen. Anyways, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you guys. And bye-bye for now.